Hey guys, I'm G. Hanelius, and I'm here at Beauty High today to show you how to do some fun, funky, crazy fall nails. So we are gonna start off with ombre nails. We're gonna do those on the thumb and on the pinky, and those will be kind of our calm nails. And then we're gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna do a chevron on our pointer fingers. On our middle fingers, we are going to do a cheetah print. Then we're gonna use the Make Me Nail Wraps on the accent nail. So step one, we are going to apply a base coat to all of our nails, and this is gonna help protect the natural nail from staining. And we're just gonna let the base coat dry for a few seconds, and then we can get started on the nail art. So step two, we are going to start with the ombre nails, which are gonna be on the thumb and the pinky. And basically ombre is just another word for fading. And we're gonna fade between um, this kind of darker red to like an orangey red and then a bright orange. So to start with the ombre, we're gonna start with the darkest color um, at the cuticle of the nail or the base of the nail. And we're gonna wake, uh, work our way towards the tip of the nail and the tip will be the lightest color. So we're gonna start with the red. And just as you would apply regular polish, but you're just gonna stop um, before you get halfway. And now we are going to go in quickly before that one dries with this middle color, which is the orangey red. And this is all about layering. So this is just gonna be our base, and then we're gonna keep going back and layering the polishes together. And you can just let it feather out at the end. And now we are going to go in with our brightest, lightest orange. And you wanna make it at the part where you feathered the last color. And just blend, blend, blend. Now we are just going to go back with our darkest red that we started with. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wipe off most of the polish that's on the brush. So you can really focus on blending. And you're gonna do the same thing with this middle color here. And again, go back in and feather. And back in with the brightest orange. And there you go. You've got a perfect fall ombre. We're gonna repeat that step on the whole We are going to be starting off the chevron by taking this dark, dark green. We're going to be putting that on our pointer nail. And then we are going to go in with both of these to create that chevron design. And this is a matte, uh, darkish green polish. And then this is a lighter green. And we're just going to be going back and forth with those to really give the chevron dimension. So we are applying this dark hunter forest green color on our pointer finger. And this is going to serve as the base color. So while I'm letting this dry so that I don't waste time, I'm gonna go in and do two coats um, of my base color for my cheetah print nails on the middle finger. So I'm using this actually kind of metallic brown color, kind of rusty brown, on my middle finger. And we're gonna paint that while this is drying. And then we are gonna go in with our green and our light green to create the chevron. And we are using a little toothpick today to create that chevron print. Um, you can also use a small, tiny, detail nail art brush, which you can find at any beauty supply store or nail art supply store. So I'm gonna be using this little cap as my nail palette today, but you can also use tin foil, that works really well as well. And we're just loading up the color that we're using onto here. So we're gonna be starting with this light green. The deal with the toothpick is that it, when you keep loading the color up, it kind of forms a little ball of polish at the end of the toothpick. So you just gotta make sure to keep wiping it off um, so that it doesn't get lumpy. And what I like to do when I'm doing really detailed designs is it's all about the hand position. So I lay my pinky down so I'm not hovering. A lot of people hover over the nail and then your hand gets really shaky. So to steady your hand out, just lay my pinky down on the table and I can get nice precision. Now we're going in with our matte green. And this is kind of just like a mini experiment, but I think it'll look cool. Um, because I'm mixing the matte and shiny polishes. 
And this has a little bit of shimmer in it, so I think it'll be really fun. So, you'll be able to see it up close. Then you just want to leave a tiny space between the dark green, this shimmery green, and the light green so you can really see all three colors. And there's your chevron. Okay, so for the cheetah print design, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this black color and we're going to go in with our toothpick and make little C shapes that don't connect, but they're almost like you're drawing like little eyeballs, right? So just little C shapes all over the nail. And then we're gonna go in with this light brown and we're gonna fill them in. And it looks like cheetah print spots. And there you go, there is your cheetah print design. Now we are going to be taking um, one of the nails from my Make Me Nails wrap set here. And you can line it up with your nail right here and figure out which size is best for you. And I recommend bending, um, bending the wraps a little bit so that you can see when it's fully wrapped around your nail. So all you do is you peel the end off here. You line up the rounded edge with the cuticle or the round of your nail. You wanna start at the base and press that on. And then I recommend pulling and just finishing smoothing it out. And then fold it over your nail like so. Then we are taking our file here, and all we do is you file in a downward motion. File them off, peel, and you're done. So we are all finished with our fun and funky fall nails. Lots of crazy fun patterns going on here. So to lock it all in and make sure that this lasts for days, we are going to be using a top coat. A fast dry top coat is the best so that you can get out the door and get on with your day. And just apply a quick coat of top coat. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching my Beauty High nail art tutorial. I hope that you guys try all of these nail designs out at home. They're really easy to do and they look really cute and perfect for fall. Thanks for watching.